Welcome to another edition of JavaScript Review. This morning I wanted to look at prepen2 and append2, which work a lot like insert before and insert after. The difference being that instead of putting around an element you're targeting, so we're targeting div3, we're going to add to div3 either before it or after it. So if I had one line of paragraph inside of it, I'm going to have new things before and after, but still within the thing I'm targeting. So down here I have div3 and I have a paragraph in it. And instead of having the things pop up before and after it, it's going to just modify the thing in between the div so that it's before and after within the div. So let's see how that works by going over here and hitting this. And you notice here it looks very much like the last one I did, but let's go to View Developer Tools. And we'll just go down here. And when that comes up, notice if I expand div3, notice it's within div3. Instead of wrapping around it, it's actually in it. So I've changed the actual contents by prepending or appending. And that's pretty much the difference between prepend to, append to, and insert before and insert after. It depends on whether you want to wrap the thing you're searching for or modify with prepending and appending. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with JavaScript.